Good, bless. So we were talking to Dean and kind of just getting his evaluation of the evolution of this defense. And I would love your opinion too on kind of how you've seen this defense evolve, defense evolve from maybe what y'all thought you would be in training camp to kind of what you are now. Um, I feel like, you know, we got better every week, you know, um, putting ourselves in a position to have some success and making some big plays and nice turnovers, and uh, which is good. And, um, you know, it's just been a learning process, you know, for everybody, uh, whether it's the players, coaches, you know, them learning about us, um, us learning the scheme more week in and week out, making necessary adjustments. Um, so, I mean, it's been, it's, been, it's been a progress, you know. So uh, I don't know if I could, like, answer it, like, as far as, like, from what I would think evolution-wise from beginning to now because, I mean, when it be in the first year, you don't really know. You're kind of trying to establish an identity type thing. and uh, But, you know, it's been good to have some growth. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel as though kind of coming, you know, 2021 being in the first year of this system and then you look ahead to maybe 2022 and feeling more confident and comfortable in this game, do you feel like that will maybe – I don't know, change the mentality of this defense a little bit to kind of feel more comfortable in, in what Dean has installed in this year? Uh, you know, my focus right now is just controlling what, you know, what's guaranteed, you know what I'm saying, in front of me, you know what I'm saying, and that's just getting ready for this game on on, on Sunday, you know, with the Saints, you know, don't know how everything's going to shake out. So, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, I'm sure when the more somebody's in the system, the, the better stuff get, you know, with – Players, new players, however it may go, but I'm just not in a position to really speak on 2022. Um, with this game coming up, seeing Taysom Hill again, um, mm -hmm. what does that kind of add to y'all's play that you maybe didn't have the last time you saw these guys? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, dynamic player. Uh, with him being a full-time quarterback now, you know, it, it definitely – just because he lined up at quarterback, that don't mean that every time he gonna run, like say like he's hey, a wildcat guy a week and somebody else playing quarterback, you kind of, you know, have a kind of idea what's going on. But with him being in for every snap, just got to be ready for everything, you know. Um, he putting a ball on the money for him, you know, and some plays and still, you know, got the same plays for him to, to run the ball. So definitely, um, definitely a dynamic player and highly competitive guy and, um, uh, you know, got to be ready to go. Um. And then for you personally, I, you've probably been asked this before, but I, I, I would love to hear, hear it from you. But I was watching when you were mic'd up the, against the Lions, and there was this one moment where you were triple teamed. Mm -hmm. and you were like, damn, you're not going to block anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, from your perspective, I mean, what does that kind of make you feel when you have offensive lines understanding and knowing where you are and, and and kind of carrying that respect in the league mm -hmm. of being a guy uh, who honestly has to be double teamed, mm -hmm. sometimes triple teamed. I mm -hmm. mean, what does that kind of feel for you at this point in your career? You know, it's expected. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, my, my reaction on the video was, I, I mean, I, I was mic'd up, but I mean, I would say stuff like that all the time. Just t It's really just talking trash, you know, with the other guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, it's expected stuff. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing like I'm uh, like complaining about or nothing. I know it's, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's kind of said that just not even not knowing I'm, you know what I'm saying? But whatever. But um, uh, without a doubt, I mean, it's, it's, it's things that, you know, be expected. And you just got to, you know, adjust to how it comes. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what you that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? You want to be uh, a guy that a team got to account for. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and uh, demand, you know, that kind of attention, respect, whatever it may be. And, and it's just up to me to be able to handle it. You know what I'm saying? And, and get get through whether it's in a run game, pass game, you know, hold it down and do what I got to do. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's you know, it's, it's what you work for, you know, when you want to, when you want to, you know, to whom, you know, much is given, yeah. much is required, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so, I mean, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a secret or something that, you know, come, come with the job of being, you know, being myself. Yeah. I think it's interesting because, like, when it comes to the idea of respect, I know when we were talking to AJ at some point in time during the season, he was talking about, well, like, if you're a corner, if if your stats aren't where where they're supposed to be, but guys are choosing not to throw you away, mm -hmm. that in and of itself is a sign of respect and something that you know is almost better than guys throwing your way all the time and you having incredible numbers. Do you kind of feel it's just that that same idea kind of translates to you that if you have guys who you're being pulled like? Offensive linemen are being pulled your way, protections are being shifted mm -hmm. your way. Mm -hmm. That that's just as much a good sign of what you're doing as any number. 
Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, and like I say, like in the, you know, um, from the outside looking in, you know, as a, as a, um, whether it's like a, you know, a fan, a casual fan, you know, what I'm saying, you look at numbers. All you think about is numbers, numbers. You know, what I'm saying, but you know, for people who, you know, you know, watch the tape or, you know, and uh, understand, you know, what's going on in the game, you know, they people understand, you know, and uh, at the end of the day, as a individual, you know, trying to be my best and do my best, I always want to produce no matter what, you know, and. Um, and then I just gotta, you know, realize that even if I am, you know, taking double team, triple team, whatever it may be, I'm, I'm still affecting the game, you know. And um, so, so I mean, it's just been, it's been one of those years. But I mean, it is. That's what, I, like I said earlier, I would come with it. You know what I'm saying? That's why I train the way I do, get my body to take on what it, what it may take on, because I know I'm gonna have to deal with, you know, more than the average person. So, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm feeling, feeling good here, We're going to week 18 now, you know, and I'm excited to finish strong against um, the Saints and. Uh, you know, control what I can that's ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, I just want to really quick on the, um, the culture, you know, the foundation y'all been trying to establish for the first year. I know y'all got a game plan, but uh, how important has that been and where you feel it is? Um, you know, definitely we just want to finish strong, you know, against uh, against the Saints. Disappointed we didn't make it to the postseason, but at the end of the day, you know, we still got some football to play and um, um, group, group full of competitive guys that want to do good and, um, you know, once the season over, you look back and evaluate and see some of the things, you know, Coach wanted to get done, got done, and now yeah. things to build on. And so, I mean, it's been a ever, it's been an ever evolving thing, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, just being in it, you know, it's, it's been so focused on just week by week trying to get a win, get better. So, um, as far as looking at the big picture of things, uh, it's, it's, it would take a little time to decompress and look back on it. But, you know, while you're in it, right now, I'm just, you know, focused on things. Yep. Thank you.